Hello friends, my name is Ravindra, you are watching my two channel Sci-Expo. Today's video I am going to show you how to use power marker software for molecular data analysis. In this video I will going to show you how to prepare data file format, how to file import and import, marker data analysis, allele data, save to Excel, correlation matrix, tree and phylogeny tree construction, coloring tree diagram, export tree into the JPG file format. This is a free software used for molecular data analysis. I'm go stay with me. I'm going to show you how to use this software. Let's get started. Create a folder on desktop called power marker and paste your data file in that folder first column should be in genotype second one is a US species or a group of column and uh, here we see the indica japonica everything and the marker column should be in the uh, biallelic format each marker having a double column so according to that you have to make your data file save that data file in your, in your text tab delimiter file formats on your desktop in that same folder so after saving that file if you minimize that one so before opening the power marker software you need to change your date of your soft uh, computer or laptops so this is old software is so not updated so we need to change your date approximately 2000 year back so click all projects close all projects uh, make a create new project called new So import data sets so click on click on data go import click on data import data here a new window will appear click on browse import keep as it is all parameter as a default click on next Here is a new to change your genotype to as a categorical variable and the species to as a categorical variable. So categorical variable. So click on species as a categorical variable. So all our remaining are markers. So no need to change that one. So need to change first one is a geno genotype. Second one is a species. Click on next everything is done here <sighs> new window will appears on that new window no need to change anything or keep all parameter as a default your data is ready for import da if it's not Im imported here you have to go back and modify your settings click on next and finish it so your data is imported in your project so for analysis go to the analysis second column mm, analysis called summary summary statistics click on summary here you need to check all select your project power marker check all options given below and check also excel file formats if your excel microsoft excel is working your data will be saved to microsoft excel file if it is not you have to save it manually 
click submit you will see the bootstrap analysis you have to click on bootstrap analysis keep as it is so 95 percent as a bootstrap values confidence interval so click on submit so data is analyzed analysis is completed so it's a new file you see the downside excel file is popping popping up so click on that here some error is there so the software is not authenticated so we need to save into manually an excel file so once again we try it click cancel everything is correct check your project browse file no need click on mark or submit again your excel file popping up click on that see your what is the problem some error is there software error is there so we need to save it in manually in excel file so uncheck that mark click submit so your result will open onto micro power marker softwares so right click on it copy all content make new excel files name it excel analysis space to your data so data contain all major all frequency genotype frequency and samples alleles alleles frequency genotype diversity heterozygosity and peak values so name it a summary go to another analysis Giving all frequency details. Follow the step by step I'm doing. For phylogeny making, you need to install your Omega softwares. So your tree will be opened directly into Omega softwares. Here is uh, your correlation coefficient, correlation matrix between your genotypes and uh, all samples. called phylogeny so see on top column we see the compute frequency here you see click on two frequencies there power frequency one frequency two right hand column i suggesting the 19 needs 1983 click on that is this is one latest uh, phylogenetic construction tree so this is your power marker frequency one so last one click on higher frequency you will get a uh, file unitary in mega 
frequencies you should click on your same frequency select your power marker see frequency one here we see you can check on the right side column you can check on the niche frequency which the intercom you want click on that and uh, your tree will be formed this is your niche frequency click on that paste it this is a mega you need to open mega softwares how to softwares click on in google you type mega softwares it will it's a free softwares again it's a very popular for molecular data and sequence data analysis click on download scroll it accept click on accept download so i have already installed the software so no need to install just click on download click and check that uh, point no need to fill these things just click on that and click on download your download will be started so i have installed this software so no need to download just for your information I'm going to show you okay minimize that things okay check your needs frequency uh, according to my suggestion uh, click on 1983 all needs neighbor joining tree otherwise you can use upgma clustering click on file journey uh, upgma clustering and check your at a time you do one only so power marker upgma so your tree will directly open into mega softwares so mega software is popping up so this is a mega software it's a very powerful software for tree construction genetic data and molecular data analysis sequence data it can analyze sequence data also so click on radiation so it will give radiation view of your tree circle view also it will give so according to my suggestions you keep standard one and uh, radiation one rectangles straight view according to your requirement you can do your tree so rectangle so you check uh, you can resize it according to your requirements and uh, size okay this toggle click again that and resize that one uncheck that distance hmm okay so too long so uh, unable to see the content uh, so minimize it reduce the size so it's it will be easy for us to make changes in your dendrogram or tree so uncheck that one remove the distance name also this is okay uh, okay this is fine so we go for change modification into our text and uh, trees click on that text it will show the original types and variables names so go to the 
font setting is there call click on click on labels select font to uh, bold arial black is bold keep and bold and increase the size 20 to 40 12 to 40 sorry 12 to 40 okay check check mark okay so all your variables and genotypes will be bold so we need to change the tree click on that joint it's a very essential and then that hammer it will show the uh, click on first one it will uh, one slightly uh, rectangle curve branches is there click on third pt according to your requirements and display image display uncheck that um, uncheck that display bracket display caption also click ok ok so it's a change the color black we have we didn't change the color click on another tree change first select first one column and check the color this time we'll keep red and check the size 3 and display brackets we need to display uncheck that caption and brackets click ok ok we'll done then click on again next column same way you can change your tree and make a beautiful and a publication quality trees for publication blue one display uncheck captions and brackets okay second one hammer key select first bracket check color blue this times size of the pt3 display brackets okay this is done first one size 3 oh, display bracket and captions ok ok all done and some you find that some line is there that were not highlighted so click on center one so you can you can use to change that one also dark one click ok ok you are done so bracket is coming so again click on that and display click on display ok display uncheck that and display caption and brackets ok so this will be gone ok ok you are done likewise you will do less of things first one black and third display and check brackets and captions click on ok this is done this is your tree is ready for publication or uh, 
later we can change also position and color also according to your requirements looking beautiful this one you have to save each trees as per your recommend go to file right um, left hand side is save option is there click on save save it will directly direct to your folder so you need to mtx file formats it's a mega file it's a file format so save the mega tree save Again, same. Oh my God. Save. Change the tree. Radiation. So again, save it into. You can change the orientation of tree also, branches also, according to your view and your comfortability here we see the some send trees names letters are inverted so we can change also that direction according to your recommend see we can change can flip it into uh, a different orientation This is a standard rectangular tree diagram. To save that one. Desktop power marker. Thirty two. Save that one also. Thirty three. here we can change the orientation according to your requirements so click on main branches it will flip the whole orientation name to as per your requirement here we see the changing orientation see the yellow and blue lines save it into your same file format your name 4 
see the check all box data sets analysis it's a phylogenic construction bootstrap you will see the next one, neighbor joining tree click on uncheck that upgm cluster and select your 1983 and submit it again it's open into your mega softwares this is the neighbor joining tree Similarly, we can, as previously we do, done in uh, previous slide. Same can we can do in this slide also, this tree also. Change the orientations and check size. Okay, so look beautiful. Okay, so I think the previous one is good. This one is standard uh, plot rectangular strangles circular This will look beautiful. Save save it. Traditional rectangular. Need. Okay, I think this one is good. It's looking beautiful and uh, clearly showing variation among the genotypes and populations. So click on save. Keep as it is. One more suggestion here is that uh, please. Uh, save file as uh, black also and color also because uh, black is uh, it's very looking very professional and uh, scientific way and color one is uh, only for your understanding and your presentation only You can make uh, changes according to your recommend uh, branches length, tree weight, text, text zone separation also. Save that tree. It's an NG. It's a neighbor joining tree. Save. You can also check the bootstrap analysis using the same tree. Submit. This is our bootstrap analysis means a correlation matrix between your original types. bootstrapping tree this software can be used for uh, haplotype mapping populations cf statistics classical f statistics 
as per your requirement you can use I think this video is a uh, very long and uh, lengthy but I hope uh, in detail you will get uh, understand how to use power market software for molecular data analysis and this is very useful and software for genetic diversity and uh, structure structural uh, so association mapping also you can use for these softwares so I hope you guys This is a principal component analysis data. So, correlation matrix between the genotypes. So, this data will be used for PC analysis, PC clustering mapping. So, I hope uh, this video useful for uh, you guys. Uh, this is my first video. Uh, please like and subscribe my channel. You will find uh, science and uh, analysis related videos. Please subscribe my channel and uh, hit the bell icon. I will see you next videos. Okay, bye bye.